If you couldn't tell by that enthusiastic intro, I'm very excited for season two of Nagatoro. And trust me, I know exactly how this looks. Weirdo has a thing, doesn't he? Yes. And to be fair, this show does not help itself. Within 10 minutes of the first episode, the main character is already in tears. This is supposed to be our love interest? Hey there guys, editing Jacob here. I just want to say, uh, just ignore that little thing in the top left corner, alright? It's no big deal. Alright, alright, cool, cool. Given that this is our first episode, it is no surprise whatsoever that people are just immediately turned away from this show. And that just begs a better question, why did I keep watching it? In truth, it was less about why I watched it and more when I watched it. When I started watching, I was in the middle of a production of Romeo and Juliet for my high school. Have I mentioned I'm in Romeo and Juliet? It just was not going well. When I finally started watching the show, we had to cancel two of our productions, no one was off book, we were performing outside during the coldest part of the year, and at the same time, I was working! Full time! Oh my god, do you think Justin's gonna take Timberly to the... the, 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 the pr pr Things were not going great. And to be honest, when I saw the general vibe of the show and how it was going, I was like, this is not what I need right now. This kid is almost my age, and he's getting bullied. Don't need that on my conscience right now. Then I saw a clip. In fact, this scene. And it genuinely changed my mind about the show. Not entirely. I knew it was still going to be weird, but... At this point, I had something to look forward to. I knew that if I kept going through my day, I'd get home and I could watch an episode. And after every episode I watched, I'd eventually be getting to that moment. And it would go from less psychological warfare to something a little nicer. Having that to look forward to genuinely helped me get through that just awful time. Ugh. But it's over. And things do improve quickly. Senpai and Nagatoro, they genuinely become two people that are good for each other. Nagatoro helps Senpai get out of his shell. He starts to stand up for himself and for the things that he cares about. It becomes this really nice thing to see him slowly become immune to the teasing. It becomes teasing instead of actually war crimes. And then... I finished it. We had wrapped the show, we had finished the production, I was finally done being the friar. Romeo and Juliet. And there wouldn't be a new season until at least a year later. Not exactly good if that's how you were getting out of bed in the morning. So I did the unthinkable. I read the manga. In fact, I bought one. The anime really only scratches the surface when it comes to Nagatoro and Senpai's relationship. And in the manga, it really grows. They get even closer together and little spoiler, spoiler, they start acting like a real couple and it's great and I love it and it's, it's cute, cute okay? okay? I, I think, think it's, it's cute. cute. While the anime doesn't get to it, Senpai helps Nagatoro as well. He restores this self-confidence in her and her abilities. We're currently seeing this now as how hard she's working to win this judo tournament because we all know what happens at the end. I'm so stoked I can't even tell you. It's nice to see, especially given where the story starts, because you would never guess. You just think, oh my god, this silly number man is doing silly number things. And the side characters, they get a little love too. Which I really enjoy as well. I mean, it's nothing crazy in depth, like you're not getting like, this is my tragic backstory, ah, uh, woe is me, but it's more like, ah, okay, this is who this is. Yoshi's the best character, you can fight me on this. <laughs> And someone please get the president some clothes. Mmm. It's definitely a story that it's like if you have a good chunk to catch up on, it's really nice. What was I talking about? <laughs> this is actually my favorite volume, by the way. And oh wait. There's a new chapter out today.